Thank you for tuning in to Simply Nice Media. This is Monty, and today we're going to be looking at the QNAP TS853A. Uh, just a couple of key features here before we open the box. This is actually going to be the first NAS from QNAP that has uh, dual operating systems. So it comes with uh, the regular QNAP QTS and also comes with Ubuntu. Uh, this is a feature that we will talk about just a little bit um, once we open the box. So let's go ahead and uh, do the unboxing and see what uh, the unit looks like. So a couple of tabs up here. And the regular packaging, nothing, uh, nothing special, nothing different about the packaging here. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, the foam is pretty sturdy. It's packaged nicely so that way it doesn't uh, get damaged in transit and shipping. So just uh, let's just take out a couple of these things here. This is the accessories box. Uh, we'll be going through this uh, later in the video. So let's just put this aside for right now. And that's the power cable that is going to be connected to the back of the unit. And again, we'll go through all the accessories uh, just a little bit uh, in the video. All right, now to open the box. Uh, simply, well, they got this thing here. We'll take that one out right now. Uh, again, please pay attention to this next part because this is uh, the right way to unpack your NAS uh, and not damage it or potentially uh, put a dent in it or anything like that. So please do pay attention to this next part. Alright, what you want to do is you want to flip the box on its side. Keep one hand underneath here just to support the NAS as it's, as it's coming out of the box here. When you flip it upside down, there you go simply pop the box out and we'll put this box down here and now you have the unit out of the box you can take out the top again in nice sturdy form foam rather and so we flip this upside down and take that out as well and there you have the unit packed Nice plastic uh, and the plastic wrap there. All right, so we'll go ahead and just take it out of the uh, the plastic wrap, and then we'll take a look at the unit from the front, the back, and let you know a little bit about the the features that do come with this NAS because it is just a little bit different. So we'll be right back once we take the plastic off the NAS. All right, so we're back. Uh, we just unpacked the plastic off of the NAS. And uh, let's just take a look at the accessories box first to see what we get in the accessories box. Um, one, you get the, the power cable that comes with the NAS. Let's just open this up. First things first, this is the installation guide uh, for the NAS. lets you know how to install the drives and such. And also gives you a brief... Uh, Kind of brief look at how to get everything set up on your NAS. All right. Uh, second is the hard drive screws. You got uh, screws for the 3.5 inch, uh, two and a half inch rather drives and two and a half inch drives. And then you have the remote. This is uh, the remote from QNAP. Um, and again, uh, if you do lose this remote, don't worry about it. There is an app for uh, iOS and Android that you can download on your tablet uh, and also smartphone. So don't worry about it. If you do lose it, uh, you can always ask for a replacement or get a replacement, uh, rather buy a replacement, or you can just download the app. And then. We got two Ethernet cables. They always come in handy to plug in the unit to your network, uh, you know, to your router or to your switch as well. All right, and that does it for the accessories box. We'll pack this back up and then we'll take a look at the unit because uh, this unit is again just a little bit different and it is a little bit more fun and exciting. So let's take a look at the unit here. You know, regular front of the unit as for QNAP uh, desktops. Um, you got your LEDs right here. You got a status LED, USB, and LAN. You also have uh, an LED display here that lets you know 
you know, IP address, uh, name of the unit, and uh, some important information for the unit. Uh, you do have the enter and select button because you can rate it uh, using the LED display. And uh, if you want to know a little bit more about that, uh, just let us know and we can send you a link as to how to get the RAID um, set up using the display. But if you do buy a configured unit from Simply NAS, we actually test the unit, the drives, and configure the RAID for you so it's ready to use out of the box. So please do ask us about that uh, in the comments below or even by giving us a call or email, which we will share that uh, before we end the video. Let's take a look at uh, one of the trays here. It is quite easy to pop out. I'll do that one more time here. All you gotta do is just click it out, pull out the tray. And again, it's a metal tray, nice, sturdy, uh, nothing too special. Um, pretty much just regular QNAP tray. Got screw holes here for the three and a half inch and also a two and a half inch uh, SSDs or even SAS drives. Again, slides in pretty smoothly. And you're done. Uh, next up is uh, you got your power button here and the one touch copy button with USB 3 port up front. And that's pretty much it for the front of the unit. We'll go ahead and flip you around the back. And let's see what we got in the back of the unit here. Alright, so this is the back of the unit. Uh, as I don't know if you have noticed just yet, but there is something very, very different about the back of this unit. We'll start off by the obvious thing here. We've got two big fans. Uh, this is to help cool the unit, you know, with the hard drive spinning all the time. This will help cool your unit down pretty nicely. The, it's not too loud, so don't be concerned about the unit being uh, overly loud. It's really not. It's a nice and quiet unit, even though it's got two big fans in the back. You got your power, uh, power output right here, or rather power input right here. Got a little fan for the power supply. Next up here, this is headphone jacks, or rather mic jack and uh, headphone jack right here. Now, because this has Ubuntu on it, uh, loaded already on, it, on the unit, you can use this as a karaoke machine. Uh, as if, at, at least for right now, that's what QNAP has kind of said, that you can use it for karaoke using a couple of apps that are already come with this, with this system. Uh, that's a little, you know, that's just uh, to have a little bit of fun with your unit. Now, another thing here is you got two HDMI out. So now one, uh, in order to, to use Ubuntu on this unit, you do have to connect an HDMI to a monitor. So that way you can, uh, you can use Ubuntu from there. You cannot access Ubuntu from, uh, from the web browser as you usually do with QTS. So um, they give you two HDMI outs, one you can plug into a monitor and use Ubuntu, and the second one you can use to stream videos uh, simultaneously. So that's, uh, you know, the unit is powerful to do that, so that will be very nice, uh, you know, entertainment uh, unit rather for, for this unit. You can use it for entertainment. When you have people over looking to have some fun times, plug in the mics, go at it with a uh, nice uh, karaoke competition. And uh, please do not ask me to sing right now because I suck at karaoke. Uh, don't really have a, uh, have a thing for karaoke, but hey, if you do, this is a good unit for you. All right, next up you got is three USB 3s uh, plugged in right here. Um, again, these are for um, plugging in external hard drives, uh, mouse and keyboard for when you're plugging into uh, a second monitor for Ubuntu. And you got four. RJ45, one gig RJ45 output ports right here. And that's pretty much the back of the unit. We'll flip around the, the front again. We'll talk about some of the features that does come, come with. All right, so the, the basic features that uh, do come with the NAS is um, it's capable to do uh, hardware encoding up to 4K. Uh, and the HDMI is uh, is able to do 4K output as well. Um, and again, second feature is the dual OS that's uh, that's on the unit, which is the QTS and Ubuntu. And please do remember, the Ubuntu is not accessible unless you plug it into a monitor using the HDMI cable, uh, outputs on the back of the unit. 
<clears throat> for more comprehensive video I uh, will go ahead and put a link at the top of the video uh, and you can go ahead and look at that video it's a little bit more in depth about the features that uh, this unit is capable of uh, and again if you have any questions about the unit please feel free to comment uh, in the comment section below and we'll, we, we do answer all questions that you do have and that you post down in the comments. Uh, alternatively, you can give us a call at 407-960-4690 and one of our technical sales reps will be more than glad to answer any questions that you do have. And you can also uh, email us at sales at simplynas.com and you know we do reply emails we we, we really like to uh we really like to uh to interact with our customers you know educate people about nasses because we want you to get the right nas we want you to understand these units so that way you get the correct unit the first time um you know because that's that's all that's what we're about that's what simply nas is about you know we we like to educate people we like to take your needs and requirements and help you really get the correct unit that will fit those needs and requirements. So please do give us a call at 407-960-4690 and you can also email us at sales at simplynas.com. If you like the video please do click the like button. It does show us uh, that uh, we are doing well and if we need to change anything please do let us know at, in the comment section below. If you'd like updates of when, uh, whenever we do upload videos Please click, click the subscribe button and every time we do upload a video you'll get a notification so that way you can go ahead and, and uh, see the video and see if uh, we do have a new new unit up uh, that you would like. Uh, well, I think that uh, that does uh, for this video. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.